Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In a recent video I did a quick review of a capture card that I got um, and lots of people were asking me what's the recording quality like with a camera, um, what's the gameplay like with a PS4, Switch, Xbox, that kind of stuff um, and also what settings do I use on OBS for it. Um, so I figured rather than try and answer them all in the comments I'll just make another video and show you them all. So you can see in the background I've got OBS on and I've got my camera plugged in via HDMI to the capture card. The quality seems to be pretty good, um, let me know what you guys think. It's definitely more than enough for, to make your zoom calls look a bit crispier um, and also if you want to use it as your streaming camera. Um, and the other thing I like is you can see I've got my Blue Yeti plugged in um, so I can have it plugged in via USB to my computer and obviously all the audio is now synced straight away with the video from my camera. So that's pretty nice if you've got a USB mic that you want to use with your camera. Obviously the only downside of this is my camera does shoot in 4K, this capture card doesn't output in 4K. Um, so I'm losing a little bit of quality but still it looks pretty good and for like I said for stuff like zoom calls or using it as your streaming camera it's a pretty nice option. I'm sure you're probably bored of looking at my face already so I'm going to skip ahead to the OBS settings and then we'll get into some gameplay. Okay so we're in OBS now, um, by default you're going to have this area probably blank, um, I'm just using it for my display capture as well and also I've got my blue Yeti plugged in. So you can see that there's the Yeti. Um, so what I did first, I went on to settings, so hopefully you can see that. Um, and then I left the stream settings by, as default, but I made sure the encoder was my graphics card. Um, so you've got options for software, but I find that the GPU does a better job. So I changed the preset to quality rather than speed or balanced. Um, but yeah, again, that's mainly for streaming, but then yeah, for recording, these are the things you want to change. Um, so I can't change them at the moment because I'm I, I'm recording on OBS. So. But I went for indistinguishable quality, um, so it's a large file size. Um, MKV is the format. The reason why I used MKV is uh, if OBS crashes, you still save your file. Uh, if you use MP4 and stuff, it doesn't it doesn't save. Um, so that's why I use MKV. And then the hardware encoder, again, for recording. Um, again, just find it works better. And then this is the settings I've got. So I've used the... I've used the so I've used the canvas as uh, 1920 by 1080, so 1080p. Um, and I chose this uh, downscale filter. Um, I don't think it really makes a difference if you've got the uh, resolution and the output at the same, um, but I did anyway. And then yeah, I've got it done at 60 fps. Um, so now what you want to do is add the capture card in. Um, so you just go down here, click the add button, and the first thing you want to do is do video capture. Um, so you can name it whatever you want, I'm just going to leave it as the default. Let me just make it smaller and get it out of the way for now, so you can still see the settings. I've got USB video device chosen, that's what it comes up as, it's quite it's generic. Um, you can change, you can leave everything as default, but I like to do custom just to make sure it gets everything right. So set the resolution as 1080p, frames per second, match outputs, match outputs probably the best one, but I like to force it into 60 anyway just to make sure again, and then click OK. Um, so you can see I've got the video up there. Obviously you can make it bigger and smaller however you want. I'm going to leave it small just to make sure you can still see what's going on in OBS. Um, so basically yeah, that's the video sorted. Although the video capture device is here, that's not actually going to give you any audio. So you can hide hide that one. You've got to add again and this time you want to choose audio input capture. Again call it whatever you want. And then you just want to go for microphone USB audio device and now you should be able to hear I've got the gameplay audio in from the uh, from the game. So once you've done it, you can adjust the sliders to see whatever whatever the balance is. Obviously, this is really loud, and this is bring brings the game a bit quieter. Uh, obviously, you don't want to do it too quiet, otherwise you won't get anything out of it. But yeah, I think that's the step that most people are missing. So if they're having issues with audio, they just haven't done this audio input capture bit. Um, but once you've done that, yeah, everything works like it should, um, and you can just get straight to then streaming or recording. You can you, know, you can make this as big as you want, and just carry on. Okay, so that was the settings, and now this is the PS4 gameplay. to a spot in the starting lineup for the West. And to have the great season he's having and still not crack the top five, that just tells you a lot about the starters for Sacramento. Barnes and Bagley, the duo with the forward. Up to the point with heel to his side, they're the backcourt. And it's Bamba in at the center. And for the run. The jump shot is coming along. Bagley, it's crucial that he makes this on a consistent basis. Right around the halfway mark and some players starting to feel. Now about two minutes gone here in the first quarter. Shea drives in. And Shea throws it down. 
That's going to make a defender think twice about getting in Che's way next time. Big opportunities for himself and really made the most of them. And he gets off the ground pretty well, too. A good athlete still getting stronger and developing his... Again, the miss by the King. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. Timeout called the Rockets. Yeah, he needs to tell his guys to just box out with some energy. Uh, that, that's basic basketball. They've been lazy on the backboard. Never mind. Diallo's got four rebounds now tonight. The drive by Che. And that one cool. brings it up for Houston. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Clark, you and I are amazed at how the global interest of the NBA has just gone through the roof. The league has made a lot of right moves, I think, in this area. And so it's Sacramento easily grabbing this one. A resounding victory for them. And Greg in enemy territory, no less. And that's exactly right. But with the way they controlled the game and, and just completely took the crowd out of it, that's how to get it done on the road. And that about wraps it up for David Aldridge, Greg Anthony. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time. Now, moving on to the Xbox. It's time to practice. We'll be deploying soon. Hunts are dropping into the area. Watch the skies. Approaching your position, move to the safe zone.
Welcome to the Gulag. If you survive, you earn your freedom. <coughs> they are ready to fight. Get ready to fight. You're next. You win this fight and you return to the front line. But if you lose, you're done. <coughs> it's time. Break some. with you. They hit us hard that time. We will set the score. And finally the switch.
Okay, so that was the camera, OBS, PS4, Xbox, and Switch. Um, and it all looks pretty good. Um, it's limited to 1080p, but to be honest, for this, I think it's more than enough. If you've got any questions again, let me know in the comments. Um, one thing I still need to try out is what happens with game chat. I don't really play many online games, so that hasn't been something I've been able to test so far. But yeah, that's all for now. Um, any questions, let me know, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks.